Welcome back, you're watching automobiles. In this video, we'll tell you all about the various types of automatic transmissions that exist in the modern day automotive world. We'll tell you how each of these differ from each other. And at the end of this video, we'll tell you which one to choose based on your specific needs. So with traffic getting worse and worse with the day in India, most of us are opting for automatic transmission variants when we want to purchase a new car. Although these variants come at a premium than manual transmission variants, the convenience these offer is really worth all the extra mola you're shelling out. So let's try to see what are the various types of automatic transmission that are available in Indian cars today. We have torque converter or conventional automatic transmission, AMT which is automated manual transmission, CVT which is continuously variable transmission and DCT which is dual clutch transmission. Now let's get into the details of each of these. Let's begin with the traditional automatic transmission or torque converter automatic transmission. The conventional automatic transmission or AT remains the most popular, most common form of automatic transmissions globally. Torque converters have been around for a really long time now and as a result have become quite reliable. The AT makes use of a torque converter to transfer the power generated by the engine to the gearbox. Torque converters are made up of three main components, impeller, turbine and stator. These three components lock and unlock with the help of multiple clutches and maintain predetermined gear ratios. However, conventional ATs can sometimes take away a fair bit of power, resulting in power losses in the drivetrain and also provide poor fuel economy compared to regular manual transmissions. The positives of a conventional automatic transmission are smooth gear shifts and reliability. In terms of negatives, fuel efficiency is lower compared to other types of gearboxes. Next up, let's talk about AMTs. AMT or Automated Manual Transmission is one of the simplest implementations of an automatic transmission and is also the most cost effective. It was popular during the 1970s in countries abroad. However, with advancement in technology, the AMT gearbox has made a comeback in emerging markets like India. The AMT is actually a regular manual gearbox but with the addition of an electro-hydraulic system which comprises of an electronic control unit and a hydraulic system. This system, which is also known as the Transmission Control Unit or TCU, monitors parameters like accelerator pedal position and vehicle speed, among others, and controls the hydraulic operations, which changes the gears automatically without the driver needing to use a clutch. Some AMDs also offer a manual shift mode where the driver can change gears by using the gear shifter without having to use a clutch. Due to their cost effectiveness, it is mostly found in budget cars like the Hyundai Santro, Maruti Wagoner, Renault Quid, and so on. In terms of positives, we can see that AMTs are the most cost effective transmission compared to its counterparts. AMTs are also known to deliver high fuel efficiency, something at the level of manual transmissions. In terms of downsides, AMTs are known to have slower gear shifts and they are also not smooth and produce a gear shift sound that you often hear in manual transmission. Moving on, let's talk about CVT or Continuously Variable Transmission. CVTs are one of the most refined automatic transmissions. The CVTs use steel pulleys and a belt that can generate infinite gear ratios. This means that there really are no gear changes as such, leading to smooth, seamless power delivery. This type of transmission is very quiet too and is widely used in gearless scooters in India. However, CVTs can feel a bit elastic when you drive them especially when you notice what is called a rubber band effect. Premium cars like the Hyundai i20, Maruti Baleno use these types of transmissions. CVTs can also get paddle shifters to give them a sporty appeal. In India, Honda cars like the Jazz, City and Civic offer paddle shifters with their CVT. In terms of their pros, CVTs are known to have the best fuel economy among all automatic transmissions. They also have really smooth operation in stop-start traffic situations. In terms of cons, CVTs suffer from a rubber band effect when revved really hard. And CVTs are also known to have slow acceleration. Let's now talk about DCT. A dual clutch transmission or DCT uses two separate shafts with their own clutches for gear shifts. One shaft for odd numbered gears and the other one for even numbered gears. This type of automatic transmission provides really quick shifts and also delivers good fuel efficiency. However, 
since the technology involved in the system is fairly complex and consists of a number of electronic components, the costs associated with manufacturing a DCT is relatively higher, which is also the main reason for its lower level of adoption. Maintenance costs are another area of concern for DCTs. Cars like the Volkswagen Polo, Volkswagen Ameo, Skoda Rapid, Skoda Octavia are all available with dual clutch transmissions. Thing to note, Volkswagen has its own variant of the DCT which it calls the DSG or Direct Shift Gearbox. In terms of positives, DCTs are known to have lightning quick upshifts and downshifts. They also have great performance and fuel efficiency. But in terms of negatives, DCTs have higher manufacturing and maintenance costs and they are heavier than other transmission options. So which one should you choose given an option? Well, if you're looking for a low-cost gearbox that is also cheap to maintain, you will go for an AMT. Fuel efficiency on AMTs are at par with their manual counterparts and is yet another reason why you may go for an AMT. That said, if you're looking for the best possible fuel efficiency, then the CVT has got to be your pick. Not many manufacturers offer a CVT these days, so that could be a concern when you're looking for your next car. And if performance is of utmost importance to you, then you've got to choose a DCT transmission model. DCTs are quick to shift and have minimal to no loss in power and torque and do not compromise on fuel efficiency as well. But then again, all of this comes at a premium. So that was our video on the various types of automatic transmissions available in Indian cars. Don't forget to watch many such other informational videos on our channel. And do remember to like, share and subscribe.